Hello and welcome to another vlog. Now today it is time to take the Lexus for its MOT. I'm a little bit nervous. I've done everything needed and a lot of you guys don't know what an MOT is so I thought you know what in this video I'll probably explain what it is UK wise because a lot of like, American or Australian whatever viewers from around the world will not know exactly what goes on in the test and what it's for. As you know UK insurance is absolutely insane. Well the MOT and testing for these cars is probably about the same level of stuff. You, you just have to do these things otherwise your car is not drivable. So one thing I have to do to give you an example is I have to pick up some wiper fluid, window wiper fluid, otherwise I would have failed my MOT. That's, that's how ridiculous it gets. And it gives me another reason to do a vlog on the Lexus. Also, Black Panther stickers, you should, you should buy one. Anyway, without further ado, I've really picked like the worst spot because I'm like under, there we go. Without further ado, let's take this Lexus, put in a GoPro, I want to do some like stupidness and then we'll go test it. Probably should do the stupidness afterwards, but I'm stupid. Let's get this vlog started, shall we? Lexi, begin. <laughs> Come on, Lexi. So, what is an MOT? An MOT is basically this test that we have on UK cars. I just realized that guy let me through. Thank you, sir. If you watch the video, you, you don't. Uh, but basically, a, an MOT is a test that we have to do to our cars in order for them to be road legal. If you do not do the test and you get caught driving around, you will probably lose your license and your car and uh, the ability to get a license again for a long time and that sort of stuff. So it's basically a test to see if your car is worthy to drive and if it's safe to be on the road. It is a bit over the top in areas in where that like, you know, some of the things are a bit stupid that it has to test. Like, the you would fail on not having any wiper fluid or having enough wiper fluid. So, I mean, you can see it as being kind of stupid, but at the same time, there are idiots on the road and it stops people being idiots, less idiots on the, on the road, you get the idea. You do this test once a year and when you pass, basically it's fine. Now, it's, it's a thing that goes into the factor of buying a car as well. Because if you buy a car that has a long MOT, you know it's been done recently and it's passed recently. Now, uh, they also do like, it's like emissions tests in America, you might get emissions tests. Is that but a whole lot more. Um, I'm, I'm actually happy to do it. I'm happy to do it. I'm happy that it's there because obviously it makes other people more wary of, you know, their cars are running fine, they service their cars more often, that sort of thing. It's a ridiculously useful thing to have when you're on the road with people that can be complete idiots. Like, I've been to other countries, for example, and, you know, you see things where the, the test isn't as strict. You see things where you're allowed to drive with like a crack, cracked window screen. At first you're like, bloody hell, but at the same time, honestly, it probably doesn't matter that much. But the point is there's always that one idiot that will drive like a maniac with a cracked screen, not realize because they haven't had a test to see if that is wrong and then cause some damage to themselves or the people, that sort of thing. So it's good to have things like that in place to just help everything really. Now I'm saying all this, but I still might fail. If you fail uh, an MOT, usually what they'll do is they'll keep your car, fix it and you'll do another test. Um, it, it's not really a bad thing to fail an MOT, it's kind of like, it's like, okay, you know, you've, you've MOT failed, something on your car isn't suitable for driving, we'll keep it here. It's a money grabbing thing basically, it's, it's very easy to, you know, it's better to take it to a garage and where they can repair it in the same sense because if you fail an MOT you're not supposed to drive the car, so it's better to keep it at a garage and they'll fix it. So go to a trusted garage, you know, the garage that you in, that you'd like going to. That's why I'm going to this garage here. This garage, I know they've done a lot of uh, stuff for me and I trust them, so hopefully we pass this. We should pass. I mean, I serviced it not too long ago, so it, it should be running absolutely, it's running absolutely fine. And I haven't really driven it a whole lot, as some of you guys will know, but I mean, hey, it's, it's, it should be fine. I've been thinking a hell of a lot about this car because obviously, um, December is coming up quickly. Once December comes around, that's when I need to decide if I'm selling or keeping Lexi. Um, I could decide afterwards, but it, it would just be financially, it's not suicide, but a stupid thing to do if I was to do that. So it's like, 
I'm, I, I love this car. I love this car. It's my first car. And a lot of you guys will know if you've had more than one car, going to sell your... The idea of selling your first car or saying goodbye to your first car is kind of hard. It's like, I don't know. It taught me a lot. I remember the stories and the, the Lexus dealer story. I remember the story in where I could not drive the car because I bought it in September and passed in December and I had nobody to help me drive, which means the car sat there. I went through about two batteries, but also um, I had to like, the, the brakes were like seized up <laughs> once I'd actually tried to get in it. It was just like rusted up or whatever, I don't know. You know. Uh, but we had to like really push and I had to accelerate at the same time to get it to move. It was just ugh, memories. When my clutch was going out with this car as well, um, there's something on this clutch, I, I'm not 100% sure it, but I read it on the Lexus IS200 forum, like my IS200 or something, I don't know. Um, the people were saying that in this car, on the clutch that come, came from Lexus, there's some kind of like suppression on the clutch. So like, there's like, a, basically think of like rubber on this clutch in where if you, you know, let go of the clutch very quickly. It's basically idiot prone. It will bounce off of itself, not the not the clutch itself, but actually the rubber on the clutch, or like not rubber exactly, but some kind of like material that bounces. So I don't. Know, I could be an idiot, and that could be a thing on like all clutches today. But I know that that is a thing on this car. But it doesn't. The same bounceness sometimes doesn't happen on the BMW. So I don't know if it, I'm guessing it didn't really work out. <laughs> because it's kind of annoying more than anything like I know it's if you if you have stock wheels on this car it looks like a granny car we all know this there isn't really anything I can think I could fail on except the wing mirror which my brother smashed but I put a glass over it so I don't know if they'll notice that I don't know we'll have to, we'll have to find out I'm open I'm open uh, we're not too far now um, I have left it a bit late it's like well they close at 5 and it's 2.16 it takes 45 minutes to an hour I think um, so hopefully it's, it's not too long of a process, but oh, I'm a bit nervous. I don't know why. Like it's not the, the worst thing to tell me is like we need to change this thing, and it's like oh, okay, that'll be cheap because it's a Lexus that I paid two bloody grand for, and uh, then I'll just take a taxi home, pick it up tomorrow. I guess I'm just worried that uh, they'll tell me my car's shit. No, you don't tell me my car's shit. I'm offended by this. Don't do that. Making sure it's clear and... That's a speed bump. Fun over. That's... Th I just wanted to... I don't, I don't want to do... All right. We are back. It is quite late in the afternoon now, which is why there's like one video today. I've been doing loads of other stuff with the flat and that sort of thing. But anyway, basically, we're done with the MOT. The Lexus has passed, and they also actually screwed on the plate for me, as you can tell there, which is awesome. I didn't ask them to, but they did it for me, which is good, because it won't fall off then, will it? With these tests, you get advisory things as well to tell you that you're like near the limit of something before you're gonna fail, so if you need to, so you need to basically get them sorted for the next MOT test. But the only things mentioned on mine were the fact that I got a sticker in the front that some people may be a bit ooh about, but honestly, it's fine, police have, seen it it's fine uh, the only other thing is there's like a, a bit of rust on the side as you will know which needs to be patched over uh, which will be need to done at some point it doesn't it's not like urgent and the front tires I think are near their tread limit which they say that when they're like a million years off but we'll get those sorted soon the back ones though are fine which is good I'm not particularly sure how the front tread has gone seeing as it's a rear wheel drive cap whatever they must be just very old they probably haven't been replaced since it was you know made so but there you go hopefully you guys learned something today about MOT tests and that sort of thing final thing I want to do for the video is rev Lexi I haven't done that in a while and the sound is just so exciting I love the sound so much so that's what we're going to do as we do it I'm playing this way because the microphone needs to point to the back I don't have two pairs of ha two pairs of hands two pairs of hands so anyway that that's the clutch here we go I love it. Magic! Two sticks underneath the camera works. Anyway, let's get this video rounded off. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more car vlogs on the channel, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next video.
Press.